Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and I'm very excited to show you guys some new, you know, upcoming release stuff, leaks and things, and it's kind of like a mini game at this point with Halo Infinite. I don't know if I've ever seen another game have so much content leaked than Halo Infinite. Like, I, I feel like no other game really has that issue, not Apex or Call of Duty or anything, you know, you see like modern warzone on twitter and stuff leak like upcoming guns sometimes and skins but i don't know it's just nuts with all the leaks that halo infinite has so if you don't want to know about any of this stuff click off the video but before we get into the actual content i just want to say thank you all so much for all the support that you've given the channel over the past month it's been amazing we are so close to hitting 10k subs so if you want to be a part of that i would greatly appreciate it go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy this video make sure you leave a like down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on if this stuff is actually going to happen. Fingers crossed. I, I, it's got to happen. It's there. It's happening. So let's get into the video. So as always, these come from the, you know, like the discords and the uh, Twitter accounts of the, the Leaks channels. So obviously you can see their names. It's Leaks Infinite and Delta Index. But looks like the pump shotgun is usable in the game. And I've heard rumblings. And I think I've seen a video a little bit ago of... Uh, the the shoddy in action and stuff so it looks like the halo 4 slash 5 shoddy not the i guess og bungee era looking shotgun which is fine with me i actually kind of like this shotgun it's very it's it's futuristic and it it just looks you know i think that it's a good version of the halo shotgun you can let me know down below what you think but hopefully it's uh you know the halo 4 shotgun is amazing so i don't know if it should be that strong but I guess we'll see. Next up, we have the Armament Blaster, which is something that's been around for a really long time, actually. I believe that there was like a Nerf gun or something. There was a toy of this weapon before the game even released. So obviously it's not completely textured or anything like that. But I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what this weapon does. I haven't seen any other videos of it like shooting or anything. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. Next up, we have the Scrap Cannon, which is available in the campaign, but it's obviously not multiplayer. But it says that it's completely functional for multiplayer, so that is a big boy weapon right there. I can't imagine that it's going to be like a regular power weapon. Maybe it's going to be used in like fun game modes, I'm not sure. But again, that thing is huge and chunky. Now, I know you all have seen this already on YouTube, probably, or Twitter about the DMR coming for the next season, and I think Sean W. made a video about a, a weapon that the community really wanted to come back. I was hoping that it was the beam rifle. It's not going to be the beam rifle, it looks like. It's going to be the M392 Bandit, which the M392 was the DMR designation. So, I don't know why they gave it a special name. I had heard some rumors that this is actually not going to be the DMR, but everybody else is saying it's the DMR, so, you know, it's got the designation. We'll see what happens. From what I'm being told, it's going to come off a power weapon spawn, so whatever that means... And this is obviously, they found the, it looks like the Halo 5 version of the DMR in the cinematic map. So there, there it is. No scope though. Next up we have some of the upcoming shop bundles. And I believe this is for the Yappening event. And honestly, I like the uh, Beyond the Burrow. I think that that looks kind of cool. That might be like the only FX that I've wanted to get and... I think that it, it might happen. It might happen. I also really like this ghostly pride uh, coating, so I hate Doge. Don't care. And then Supermodel and uh, some bunny ears. There's also a lot of armor that hasn't been released for the Ruckus armor set, and that includes the Locust armor. And this is probably the most high-quality version I've seen of it. It looks like he's got, like, a face mask on. My man's staying safe out there. So that's exciting. Let me know in the comments down below how you all feel about these little leaks. And as always, if you want to stay up to date with a cool Halo content creator, go ahead and sub to the channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!